This is Sol Johnston and Packet Tracer Activity 9526, configuring IPv6 ACLs. So let's go ahead and configure our R1 router here. Do enable, configure terminal, and let's do IPv6 access list block HTTP. And do that all couple letters. Then we're going to do deny TCP any host 2001 colon DB8 colon 1 colon 30 colon colon 30. And then we're going to do EQ for equipment ports 80. And we're going to do the same thing for 443. And then you could have done www if you want, but I just put that in there just kind of as an annotation. And you do permit IPv6 any any. And we're going to exit out of here. And we're going to do IPv6 traffic filter. Or sorry, uh, interface G0 slash 1 and then interface. I mean, then uh, IPv6 traffic filter block underscore HTTP, which is the name we created, in for our router. And we're going to do end here, and we're going to do show IPv6 access list. And there we go. It shows that the port 80, which is www, is going to be blocked, and everything else will be permitted afterwards after it goes through that list exactly like that. So if we open a web browser for PC1, right here, we can go ahead and test it out. It shows that it goes through. When we do HTTPS, it goes through in that too. Now if we do PC2, should block it, which it looks like it's, it, it is because it's instant access otherwise. So as fast as I click go, it should have connected, so it didn't. So we know that it's, it's working correctly the way it's supposed to by blocking that computer. Now if we ping with our PC2, so we're going to do ping I'm just going to copy it over here. And it shows that it's successful in that way because we only blocked those specific ports. So now we'll go ahead and get out of that and let's configure our router 3. Let's do enable configure terminal. IPv6 access list block ICMP. We're going to do deny ICMP any any and do permit IPv6 any any. And we're going to do interface G0 slash 0. And we're going to do IPv6 traffic traffic filter block ICMP oh, let's make sure that's all capital letters out and if you look at our results here so it's 100 out of 100 so let's go ahead and we will be doing some pinging here so let's go ahead and ping PC2 to our, our server, it should fail. Ping PC1 to our server, which it fails. And then our next step is we're going to go to PC1, we're going to go to our web browser. And we basically only blocked the pinging side of things. Make sure there's no spaces at the end, right there, and see it goes right through. And do HTTPS.
and it goes through that way also.